I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you guys are here for a sneaker video, because that's usually the content of the channel, then sorry to disappoint you, but this video is not going to be about sneakers. Um, instead, if you guys are interested, this video is going to be um, more about my life um, and just personal things about me. So if you guys are interested in learning about like things about me, then I would stick around. It's going to be a pretty deep video, man. I honestly don't know where this is going to go. I'm really just letting the camera roll right now. And it's a lot of it is actually for like personal, like I guess personal development and personal health. I've been like wanting to make this video for a long time and I just haven't gotten around to it because I, I felt like embarrassed to talk about it and stuff. So yeah, it's been a long time coming, but uh, I guess we can talk about it today. So I think it's very relevant and like what's going on in the world right now where there's a pandemic, right? There's hysteria, there's a disease that's, you know, terrorizing the world, not just wherever country you guys are in, it's like terrorizing the world. And we don't know a lot about it. People are dying, people are getting sick, people are scared, you know, like people are buying a pull of toilet paper and stuff. It's creates a lot of anxiety. Um, and for people with anxiety, uh, it can get even more crazy. So if you guys didn't know, um, which I mean, I don't know how you guys would know, is I, I've actually had anxiety myself, like generalized anxiety for, I think, wow, seven years now, seven years. <laughs> It's a long time. Um, yeah, so for like about seven years now, I think. I might have had it longer. It's just it hasn't been diagnosed until about like seven years ago. So um, I guess we can start off into how that happened. Uh, basically, I remember like in around 2013 or 2012, like I was saying, about seven years. What happened was I was coming back from work one day and I was walking home. Uh, I was working at UH at the time at Intramural Sports and just finished work so it was like around like 10 30 at night or 11 at night and i was walking home and then all of a sudden like i had like a shortness of breath and i just felt like i was gonna die like that was the first time in my life like i i fully thought at that moment i was gonna die and like that was it and i was terrified i was very scared because i didn't know what was going on um prior to that i didn't have like any knowledge of what was going on with that situation that never happened before so i thought i was gonna die um got home tried to lay down and like, you know, like figure out what the heck was going on. My heart was racing. My skin was like cold sweats and I was just terrorized, you know? So, um, I ended up having my friends, uh, drive me to the ER and I thought I was like having a heart attack or I was like, something was going on. So we went over there They hooked me up to like the EKG machines and stuff to check my heart. And they like had like all this stuff going on and tr tried to do like IVs and stuff. And it just turned out that I wasn't dying. Um, instead, I had a panic attack, and that was actually the first panic attack, true panic attack I've ever had in my life. And um, it was really scary, man, because people will think like with anxiety and stuff, like you think, oh, it's all in your head. Uh, as a counselor and as, as a psychology major, it's not all in your head, man. Things that happen in your head can actually bring out like physical problems in you, like the cold sweats, the tremors, like the increased heart rate, that kind of stuff is triggered from your mind. Like, so if you guys are having a panic attack, like you're having physical symptoms as well. And those physical symptoms can feel like they kind of mimic the same thing as like a heart attack or something crazy. So it, it gets, it, it, it's like a, you know, vicious cycle, man. Like you're thinking about this stuff and then it hurts your body. And then when your body's hurting, it amps up your anxiety more. So it's, yeah, it's, it's just scary. So anyway, that was what happened first. I found out back then and I was just like, okay, anxiety, like, why would I have anxiety? You know, like, I've heard about it, I've studied about it, I I don't think I have anxiety, I felt pretty good. So then I went to like a psychologist and stuff and then the psychologist was kind of helpful, I guess. I only really went to two sessions because it didn't feel like it was doing anything and I was still like having like these weird like relapses of feeling like terrorized and stuff and long story short, I ended up going to that ER two more times in the same month because I've had that panic attack three times in one month. And for people with anxiety, man, like I'm sure you've kind of been there before. It's really scary. So um, I ended up doing that three times in one month and it freaked me the F out. So I was like, okay, I got to make a drastic change here. Like I can't keep doing this. Like it, I was like leaving work. I remember I left work one time. I was actually a coach <laughs> um, coaching like preschool kids, first grade kids and stuff. And I had to cut session short because I was getting into a panic situation and I was like, oh my gosh. So I brought the kids back to the class and like went to the ER again. So it was bad, man. So the psychologist didn't work and I really didn't want to take medication for it and stuff because like just, I, I don't want to talk about it, get into that kind of stuff, but there's stuff in my family like when I was younger that I, I just felt like medication wasn't really a good way to go. So I, I didn't want to do that. I was very resistant, but 
at the same time I was feeling terrorized all the time so I had to like make a decision and I ended up taking medication and you know that actually helped quite a bit. I think since that initial incident total I've had maybe five or six panic attacks so from that initial three in the first month I mean it, it cut down pretty significantly so it does have a lot of effect and it did help a lot. Sorry I know this is like getting kind of like long-winded and stuff but I need to give you like this history so I can explain more in depth and to kind of show you guys where I'm coming from. So when I was like doing like kind of like introspection and trying to figure out okay why was I all of a sudden getting like this anxiety and stuff and where was it coming from it kind of dawned on me that the situation I was in in 2013 wasn't really a good situation man like like you guys see the lifestyle that I have now like I have all these expensive shoes I'm opening up expensive boxes and stuff all the time you guys assume that I have a lot of money um, back in 2013 that was not the case at all I was actually pretty much living paycheck to paycheck I worked three jobs at that time, three jobs, and I was also a graduate student. So you can imagine my week was very full. I was working at least one of those jobs every single day a week. I was a student, so I was studying every day. Um, and it was very, very time consuming. And, uh, it, and that only just barely got by with the bills and stuff. So it was very hard in that sense. Um, additionally with that, I ended up living with, um, how many people were in our house? I lived in a two bedroom house with uh, five people total, including myself, so four homies and myself. Um, and then also two of those guys had girlfriends and then I also had a different girlfriend at the time, not Mari, a different one. And so that was eight people in the house that were pretty much there all the time. And on top of that, we had Kuma and Delilah, my two dogs, and another couple had their two dogs. So we had eight people in a house with four dogs in a two bedroom house. So it was cramped, it was crazy. We had one bathroom in that house too, so it was very stressful. I didn't realize how stressful it was, but so on top of like the financial situation, I had like a weird living situation because I mean, we needed to do that because all of us were trying to save money and stuff at the time. Um, so that was stressful and then, yeah man, on top of all the work and the studying and stuff, it just felt like, I guess everything kind of just caved in at one time and then at that point I was just, you know, that's where the anxiety kicked in, so. It was tough, man. Um, I remember I was getting um, angry and stuff all the time too, and I didn't know why I was getting angry and like just feeling frustrated and like blowing up. And I think partially, not partially, I think fully, that actually is what ended that relationship in the past. So um, it was really tough situation because on top of like having this like dealing with anxiety and stuff and like trying to sort out my life, like I ended up going through a breakup at that exact same time because I was just kind of like on the deep end, you know, and like frustrated and not knowing what's going on in my life. And then that exacerbated everything even more so. So it was tough, man. It was really, really tough. So yeah, that was hard. And that's my like background with anxiety and like why I felt like all of a sudden everything triggered in me and it was bad. I want to let you guys know that things do get better if you guys do have anxiety and you guys are thinking like, okay, what's going on? This is like the end of the world. I don't know what to do here. Like it gets better over time, man. So I ended up taking medication. I don't recommend that for everybody. I mean, talk to your health professional. I'm not a health professional. It just worked for me. Maybe a psychiatrist or something would work for you. It really just varies from person to person. And honestly, like things like this, like just talking about it, it can help a lot, man. Like you guys can't see it, but my heart is like racing right now talking about it because just even like thinking about that kind of like previous stuff is really like scaring me and you guys can hear it in my voice. My voice is cracking. I'm talking fast. My eyes are kind of darting all over the place. Like there's a lot of signals where you can tell like people are kind of in distress and that's why I think it's important you like talk it out and you like try to help people as best you can. So things that worked for me when I was trying to figure out how to deal with anxiety was like the medication, like I said, but also I ended up going back to church and that's like started where I started to get like all these tattoos and stuff on my arm, like right around the same time. I like deep dove into Christianity and I like really like prayed a lot and like really just try to like refocus and like try to get better. And if you guys are not Christians or you guys don't want to hear this part, then kind of skip ahead maybe like a minute or so. But um, the two verses that I have on my arm are actually directly related to the kind of like turmoil that I was in at that time. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 is um, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not in your own understandings. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. So it's just trusting in the Lord. If you guys kind of like listen to that, it's it's not thinking like, you know, what's going on and just kind of having faith. So that was the first tattoo I ever got. And that was directly because I wanted to get out of like that hole that I was in. Um, the second one over here is uh, Isaiah forty thirty one, And that one is pretty similar to the previous one that I was talking about. It's um, but for those who hope in the Lord, their strength will be renewed. They will soar on the wings of eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. The walking and not be fainting thing, man, that was, hit me when I was reading through Isaiah. That one hit me hard because 
when I was walking home, I felt like I was going to faint and die. So it was like, okay, that's crazy. And then this is this verse, you know, talking about how if you have faith in the Lord, you he'll make your path straight and stuff. So that's where all of this came from. Um, that's where my kind of like reintroduction into like faith came into and that helped a lot. It helped a lot. Since that time, the initial time where I had like anxiety and stuff, I've actually tried to like get off medication and stuff and that was okay for like a couple months and then I would have like a panic attack and then I'd just jump back on it. I honestly feel like they're giving me placebos at this point, but I'm not going to mess with it because a placebo effect is real. So if it is placebos, that's cool. <laughs> but if not, then cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that I, I've been pretty much doing that and that's why I've been kind of like, I guess, hiding that, I guess, from you guys, because when you guys see stuff on camera, you guys only see like the fully edited version of things, you know, like you see what people want you to see. Um, you see the best parts of a video. You don't see the worst parts. You don't see me stuttering. You don't see me with the voice cracks. You don't see me like, I don't know. You don't see me like struggling, I guess. And I have a facade, I guess, where I look like I'm happy and stuff all the time. And I think that's a dangerous thing. Um, it's a dangerous thing because it's okay to be like, you know, anxious. It's okay to have anxiety. It's okay to have self doubt. It's okay to like have like fear, you know? And like the main thing is like to acknowledge that this stuff is real. And then from there is to act on it, you know? Like, okay, so I understand I have this problem. How do I fix this problem? Who can I talk to like help me with this like issue? You know, like I like the idea, like it's a quote, um, no man is an island. And what that basically means is that we're not meant to go through life like alone. You know, like we're all in this together and uh, that's why you got to like lean on other people and stuff. And that's why, I don't know, honestly, like I have a huge appreciation for this channel and for this YouTube because you guys hear me say it every video. Like I'm so thankful for you guys and you guys probably have heard other YouTubers talk about that, but maybe some of them are genuine, but I know in my heart that I'm very genuine when I say thank you to you watching this because you guys literally changed my life. Like like I told you, a lot of that stress back in 2013 was financial issues. Now I have a YouTube where I'm able to, you know, do this full time and I'm getting paid like money that I never thought I'd be making in my life. And it's not, I'm not rich still. Like I'm paying back student loans like crazy. I'm renting in a house. I don't own property and stuff. I'm working on it, but it's something that I didn't think I'd be able to do like before I was 30, you know, like I'm in a very, very like advanced place for where I thought I would be at this age. So thank you guys. Like, it helps a lot. That's my personal backstory on it. And now I kind of want to get into like what's going on in the environment today and how I just think it's time that we like talk about this and like it's okay to like acknowledge like these feelings and stuff you guys may have if you guys do have your own anxieties or your own pressures and stuff. So basically um, what's going on in the world is that like I said at the beginning, there's a pandemic, it's hysteria happening, people are going crazy. And if you guys didn't have anxiety before, maybe you have anxiety now, like it could be popping up because you're fearful like oh man, I don't want to die. I don't want to get this like virus and like, you know, like get sick and like what happens if I like get sick, you know, like what what's going to happen, you know, or looking at the economy and looking at the stock market tanking and being like, oh my gosh, are we all going to just go into like this like weird Mad Max world like pretty soon? Like is the world ending? That's like real fears that people could have. And if you have anxiety already, that extrapolates it. It's like, oh man, okay, well, this is it. <laughs> you know, it's all over. But that's why it's important, like, you acknowledge these feelings and you, like, kind of talk about it. Don't keep it sheltered in because the more you keep it sheltered in, that just raises your anxiety levels more. Like, if you have a mom and dad that you live with, you have siblings that you have, you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you know, a significant other that you can talk to or even just, like, a best friend or even, like, a YouTuber that you can just comment on the videos, it's important to, like, voice these feelings and, like, let it out because anxiety is a thing where it creeps up on you, man. It builds up and over time, this, like, building of building and building of like frustration and like fear and all this other stuff gets ingrained in you and it becomes part of your being and then it just takes one like little incident to like set you off and then from there you're gonna you could potentially end up like me where you're dealing with it for seven years so that's why it's important to talk about it early and get it out of the way like I wanted to make this video not only for like personal my personal like growth and like development and stuff but as an example, um, you don't need to be fearful to talk about problems that you do have. Um, I I should probably should have made this video like earlier, um, but I don't know. I was just scared myself, and so that's why I know personally like it's hard to like 
show weakness to other people you know like you don't want people to see you at your worst so you don't want them to know like what's going on behind the scenes like you want to come off as like this perfect thing and that's why instagram and like youtube and like all this other stuff people only see like the best pictures you never post the ugly pictures you never post the ugly videos you never show them weakness you don't let them know what's going on right so i can understand that it's hard and i mean first example it took me three years to make this video to show you guys but at the same time i also want to let you guys know that it's okay like you don't need to be embarrassed like it's good to talk about these things and it's hard like it's scary at first like i'm going to be showing this to thousands of people who ended up watching this video but if i can affect positive change in somebody behind the camera especially during this time now where i know firsthand people are freaking out um then i want to do that so if you guys are having issues at home or if you guys are scared about what's going on in the world, just know you should talk to people. It's fine. Like, it's okay to have those feelings. There's other people in the world like myself that also feel like that. You're not by yourself. You're not alone, man. So that's my main message that I want to get out. And I want to let you guys know that we are Ohana here. We are Untied Ohana. We are family. So like I said in a previous video, if you guys ever have like problems in anything like that, then comment down below man and i try to get back to every comment that i can if i don't see it or if it's been like you're watching this video like a week later i probably won't see it hopefully other people that do watch will see your comment and they'll be able to comment back and like help you through those problems you know it's important that we talk about it it's important that we're not fearful of or shameful of who we are as people you know like we gotta embrace the good and the bad and we gotta be okay with letting people see like both sides of that coin because then we can truly be ourselves. so Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for listening to me, like, kind of, like, voice these opinions. I'm sorry it wasn't, like, edited. I'm sorry it wasn't, like, you know, like, my usual, like, uppity beat self and stuff. And, like, I don't know how you guys might take it. You know, like, this is a sneaker channel and, like, this guy just is coming on and talking to you about his personal life. Like, half of you guys won't care. Half, probably 90% of you guys didn't even make it to this far in the video. But for the people that watched all the way through and the people that, like, felt something, you know, in this video... Thank you, man. I hope you guys got something out of it. And even if you guys don't have anxiety or you guys don't feel like that kind of like frustration and fear and stuff in yourself, maybe you know like someone that you can see is like kind of going through something tough. And because you're strong, help that person, man. Like lift that person up and like help them get through it. Like don't let them suffer on their own, man. So that's my whole thing with this. And thank you guys for watching my TED Talk. <laughs> oh, man. I felt like I wasn't breathing that whole time in that episode. <laughs> My heart was like racing and you guys can't see my hands and stuff, but I was like fidgeting and like they're clammy and stuff now and my foot was tapping and like it's just all common stuff of anxiety, but I got it out there. So <laughs> it took a while, but I feel pretty good now. So like I said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll get back to our normal sneaker content very, very soon. Um, just know I'm here for you and things will get better. This isn't going to last forever. The world will get back to like a good state and Hopefully we're all stronger people at the end of it. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, stay humble, stay blessed, take care. And I will see you on the next episode. Aloha. Shoots.